Hi, and welcome back to Hook Eat Up. Have you ever been in the mood for Sunday brunch, but not in the mood for that long wait at your favorite restaurant? If so, this is the dish for you. So for today's dish, we're gonna be making avocado toast with salmon and dill. For this recipe, you're gonna need salmon lox, a loaf of Italian bread, one avocado peeled, one lemon, two tablespoons of fresh dill, stalks removed, and one shallot. Now to get started, we're gonna slice up our bread using a serrated knife, and I'm gonna be cutting this bread on an angle. That way we get as much surface area as possible to work with on each piece of toast. I'm cutting the bread about half an inch thick. In the meantime, I'm gonna get my oven warmed up because I don't own a toaster, and I do all my toasting right in the oven. Next up is prepping my avocados. To make my avocados, it's almost like a modified guacamole recipe, except we're not adding onions or tomatoes or cilantro to it. We're just gonna mash it up, add some lemon, salt and pepper, set that to the side as well. What I like to do is I like to cut one of my avocados into cubes. By cutting the avocado into cubes, I'm gonna give the whole avocado mix a little more texture. In the bowl, I'm gonna smash down these avocados, or this half of an avocado, with a fork. And once I'm happy with the consistency of it, then I'll add the larger chunks. So now that I got the initial avocado smashed up, I'll be adding the cubes back to the mix. Smashing these up slightly. Okay, next up for the avocados, take half a lemon. I'm gonna juice this into my hand so I can catch the seeds. And now we're gonna add just a little bit of salt and pepper to that. Once I have the avocados, lemon, salt and pepper in the bowl, I'll just stir it and set it to the side. We'll bring that back out once it's time to plate. Now I'm just gonna slice up these shallots because I'm gonna be using them along with the dill as a garnish. I'm gonna get nice, thin slivers. I really like shallots, just the flavor of them. They're like an earthier onion and they're this nice, light purple pink color. So whenever you wanna bring some color and flavor into your dish, go with some shallots. Let me turn that to this little dish here. Now that we're done with that, the final thing I'm going to want to do here is also get my locks out. I'm using Acme smoked fish. I, I didn't even know Acme was a real brand. I thought it was just something that they used in Looney Tunes, but I guess I'm going to eat it. <clears throat> and what I'm looking to do is make it sure that this is all sliced out already and get it down to like these inch wide strips because then that's going to let me layer it on light nicely. Now that I have everything prepped, I have my avocados ready to go, lots are sliced, my dill is already set, shallots cut, I'm going to toast that bread up. Put this right on the rack there. I'm going to toast that bread on broil for about a minute on each side, but if you had a barbecue grill and you're in the mood to bring in some of that smoky flavor into this dish, it'll tie in nicely with the, lo with the locks. First thing I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna dollop on some avocado. Then I'm gonna ladle on some of the locks. Makes it look a little prettier. And I always like to kind of push it in. So once I have the salmon all layered out, I'm going to top it with some of the dill and then the shallots. Spin it out as well. So what would brunch be without a nice brunch cocktail? Today I'm going to show you how to make a bellini to go along with this avocado toast dish. So the bellini is a super simple drink to make. It's really just a combination of some champagne, an apricot, or peach juice. 
As you can see, I already started with a chilled glass. So I'm gonna just toss this ice. And into the glass, now I'm pouring this champagne in first, just so I could kind of gauge where the bubbles come in. And then, two ounces of the acacia. Spoon, I'm just gonna stir that up so it doesn't all settle at the bottom. And there you go, you have your apricot bellini. So once again, I'd like to thank you for visiting Cook Eat Up. If you're not a subscriber already, make sure you do subscribe and leave your comments on what you think below. I'm gonna dig in, I'll let you know how it tastes.